We're the Oklahoma City Lacrosse Club. This is kind of our home base out here where we practice at and so forth. Uh, we've been around for about a year and a half now. This is our second full season going into the fall and into the spring season. Uh, we've had a lot of success so far, but lacrosse is kind of a new sport to this area and we're trying to grow the game in the Oklahoma City metro area. That's really our goal is to expand the game. It's the uh, fastest growing game in the United States right now and uh, we're trying to be part of that in the Oklahoma City metro area. Uh, lacrosse is a, it's a fun sport, it's a fast sport, it's physical. Um, it's kind of a combination for uh, somebody who's not very familiar with the sport. Combination of multiple sports, the physicality of football or hockey, you can add that to lacrosse. The point guard of a basketball team, you can add that to a midfielder of lacrosse. So really, whatever sport you're playing at this level, at this time, uh, you can take those skills and apply them to the lacrosse field. Between Edmond and us, we have about 700 kids playing lacrosse right now in the Oklahoma City metro area. There's kids that play anywhere from uh, uh, first and second grade kids all the way up through seniors in high school right now. Uh, there's two varsity high school teams in the Oklahoma City metro. Uh, our team, the Oklahoma City Lacrosse Club, and then the Edmond Lacrosse Club as well. Um, and the youth programs, there's probably five to six teams at each one of the third, fourth, uh, fifth, sixth, and seventh and eighth grade levels between the two clubs. We're fortunate enough that we've got our first senior class coming through this year. In that senior class, the early signing period in November, we'll have two kids signed to play Division II lacrosse at Lindenwood University. And then in the spring signing period, we'll probably have no less than three more kids signed. So out of our senior class of 14 to 15 seniors, we'll have probably five kids signed NCAA letters to play lacrosse this year. I've been playing for six years now. Um, I like it a lot, it's, just a lot, it's really fast. And so it's a lot of quick scoring, transition, I mean, a lot of things, it's physical. So, I mean, I've always played physical sports like football growing up and everything, so it just connected well. It's mainly an East Coast sport, so I mean, it's been progressively growing West. And Dallas has exploded, and so we've kind of mirrored Dallas to try to build from them. I'm pumped. I mean, I love competition, I want to play, and excited. It's awesome sport. It's fast paced, it's, uh, it's a great team sport. It's it's a lot of fun. physical. I've always been involved in physical sports. That's always been one of my favorite things about it. Lacrosse right now is just kind of my number one focus. It's what I'm signing for today and that I've, I'm going to work hard for the rest of my career. Well, kind of Sam was the one that started. He was one of the pioneers of, uh, of Edmund Lacrosse. And uh, he told me one day, just come hang out, just go watch it. Pick, picked up the stick one day and just kind of fell in love with it right there. As long as you're a good athlete and you're a student of the sport and a good student in general, uh, you can play lacrosse at any level and that's really a quality that uh, I think draws so many people towards it and that I think as a parent and perhaps looking into the future uh, player as a, as a son or a daughter, you know, maybe you don't have the best genetics, maybe your kid isn't going to become six foot five and a giant football player. Well, lacrosse is, affords you the opportunity if you have the will and desire to perhaps continue your education at a college level and continue to compete at a Division One level. The persona is that lacrosse is a very expensive prep school sport. The costs are comparable to playing football, to playing baseball, equipment wise. It's not in the high schools right now. Uh, it's, a it's strictly a club sport in this area and throughout this whole region. We encourage people to go to OKCLacrosse.com Check out our website, we'll have registration for it's a spring season sport. So registration will be open in the second week of November here. We'll start practicing in middle of January uh, with the youth and high school programs and then we'll start games in February and play through the end of April. I encourage you to see the, the greatest sport on earth in my perspective.